Hello everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a while, but I finally have something for you guys. Rooster Teeth has posted on their Twitter, hashtag Ruby Volume 4 trailer October 3rd. That's right everybody. The full trailer will finally be viewable October 3rd. That's a Monday, I believe. That's not that far away from when I'm gonna post this video. So we finally have something to look forward to. No more shaky handycam bootleg version. That's only like, I think how long, maybe a quarter or only half of what they have. I don't know. I really don't know, but I'm really looking forward to seeing the full trailer and hopefully we'll actually get to see more than just Ruby and the Grimm. I'd love to see uh, the trailer show what the rest of Team Ruby has been doing. Even maybe a bit more of Team Juniper than just the little kind of screenshot on her uh, cell phone that we had before the communication device. Uh, yeah, I'm really hyped for that. Um, aside from that post that Rooster Teeth put up, they also put up this nice post of Weiss, also reminding us again that hashtag Ruby premieres October 22nd. I really kind of hope that they continue this trend, the the little extra teases up to the trailer. Like, I'd love to see another uh, two pieces of art, at least with like uh, Blake and Yang. Uh, maybe even continuing on until the premiere on October 22nd, maybe giving us what's left of uh, Team Juniper. Uh, maybe a few of the teachers, like, you know, just kind of trickle out some art for us. That would be great. Uh, just kind of keep the hype going. Now, I know it was only a day difference between Weiss and Ruby, so it might be a couple of days between, like, the rest of the art, but uh, it'd be really nice if they did that. Uh, on a personal note, I just want you guys to know that, yes, I am continuing what I've done in the past and just kind of giving my opinions on the shows, but I'm going to kind of step it back a notch. Uh, sorry to say, I just don't have the time I used to to kind of do all this sort of stuff. And uh, it's just a lot of like, you know, full time job, kind of hard to keep up. So uh, I'm going to kind of uh, dial it back a bit on the videos. It's going to be a lot more stills, a lot more of just me talking. Um, and this will also hopefully help with the content ID issue. <laughs> um, also, I'm going to apologize in advance because I'm not going to be keeping the same schedule I did before. I used to always have it up like the next Friday. That's not going to be a thing. No, it's going to be done when it's done. I don't know how many times I put stuff up with like the wrong information or I didn't like how the edit looked. Um, and I'm bad. Oh my God, I'm bad. I obsess over how the video looks and how the edits all look and watching out for flash frames and that. And uh, I hope I can deal with simplifying this because I want to overcomplicate it. I want to add music. I want fancy boxes and uh, to be able to like put all these cool edits and like boxes and boxes so I can show you like this is when this compares to this. I'm just, I just don't think I have the time to do that anymore. And hopefully just me talking will be enough to, uh, to kind of show you guys what I'm thinking. Uh, me talking and stills. Uh, I'm hoping that will be enough. I'm still going to use moving video for like specific clips and uh, specific like animations that I want to kind of show off like, oh, hey, this walk animation is very smooth or uh oh, there's a little glitch over here. If you notice that guy's foot disappears, stuff like that, I'll still be putting in. But the majority of time, I think I'm going to switch to stills again to help me save time in the editing process so I don't fall too far behind. Uh, and also maybe to help with the content ID stuff, but mostly it's just because I'm not going to have as much time as I used to. So I hope you guys understand. And, uh, I hope you're also as hyped as I am for volume four to come up and, uh, for the trailer. So until next time, everybody, good night.